Over here, I'm going to make sure that I have a nice clean brush before I start. So I'm going to select clean brush right there. Now, when I selected this default brush here from my menu bar, I knew that it had too many bristles for this project. So what I'm going to do is go to my window menu down to brushes here, and I'm going to customize my brush right here. I'm going to slide my bristles over to the left. So I have fewer bristles and a little bit of a quality that you see here in this preview down here at the bottom. That looks great. Now, any particular brush will work. It's just that I like to customize my brush so it's a little bit lighter and not as solid as the default. I then can close this away and move my brush into my work area. Now, I'm going to increase the size of my brush with my closed bracket here on my keyboard. It's a nice quick way to bring this up. And now I'm picking up my Wacom Intuos 4 tablet. And of course, I have my art pen. And with my art pen, you can see the barrel rotation here on my screen. OK, check it out. I'm going to start to smear my image. I'm going around and around like this. I want to create a spiraling vortex here in the sky, just like that. And now I can go up to my menu and select oil paint or use the quick keyboard shortcut for the Mac or PC to replay this, Command F or Control F. And I can see what this effect is going to look like. Wow, isn't that great? So now let's do a Command Z and let's add some more effects. Let's add a little bit more of a twirl up here. And then Command or Control F again. And what I do is go back and forth between Undo and Command or Control F as I'm adding these different effects. And I'm going to go through and just create different spirals and effects in my image. And I can preview them and see how it's affecting my finished results. And of course, undo with Command Z and I go back and forth. Let's move down here to this hedge and let's add in an effect here. I'm just going to put in some strokes of the hedge just like this. Now, this may look odd here on the original image, but when we do Command or Control F, check it out, it then extends and moves the direction of this filter down here on this hedge. Looks great. Let's do Command Z, get out of that. Let's go in and add some streaks here in the sky, just like this. I want to put some streaks to move the direction of my clouds, just like this. And once again, let's preview this. Incredible. Look at that. I'm creating this diagonal angle to my pattern here in the sky. Combine that with my spirals. And it's really starting to take on a unique and different look. And it's just not the standard look that I would get if I just ran the filter. Once again, I want to add some more of those streaks here in the grass. So again, I'm using this mixer brush to mix my colors and drag it across the base like this. Let's see what that looks like. Cool. Okay, let's take this even farther. Let's undo that. I'm going to switch brushes here to my standard brush tool here for my tool panel. And I have a preset brush that I created earlier here. And I have yellow as my current foreground color, as you can see here. Check it out. If I click on my screen, I create these wacky looking yellow dots. Let's see what that will convert into again with the new plugin. Command F or Control F. Very interesting. Now I could just stop there and say, OK, that's the effect I was looking for. But not me. I'm going to continue and do wacky things back to my mixer brush tool again right here. And with the mixer brush, I'm going to go in and start to mix this a bit more. So I'm going to start to mix my colors in this sort of impressionist sun there. And let's see what that looks like. Command F or Control F. It's just the look I was looking for there. Let's pull back on this a little bit so we can see this. So you can see just there with just a few simple techniques 
Here's the before of smearing your colors before you process your image. You can then get the results that look like this. And let's bring this up in size again so we can see this. So it's just a simple little technique of using some of the new brushes here inside of Photoshop CS5 to smear your image in the direction you want this new plugin to work. Give it a try.